Hey guys, almost three years ago, I decided to do a video about the negative effects of masturbation because I kept getting asked questions about this topic. And I figured I'd do this one video, right? And be done with it. Well, that one video has gotten, you know, millions of views, almost 12 million at the time of this recording. And since then, the questions haven't stopped. And I've done a few more videos about masturbation, help you guys out, right? To give you more clarity and reduce the confusion, which is the primary goal of this channel. And while it's been three years later and I keep getting asked questions about masturbation, especially in private emails and, and like social media, private messages like on Facebook and so forth. And honestly, I wasn't going to do any more videos about this topic. I figured I've done almost 10, I think. However, I realized that there are lots of guys, all right? Younger guys, mainly, and probably some older guys who are, well, still maybe confused about this topic, right? And maybe they are even ashamed at times or maybe embarrassed about it. Just don't know, right? Maybe you don't have anyone to talk to. That's guys, unfortunately, don't talk, right? So, especially about this topic. And, of you know, there, if you're having these issues, you maybe have conflicting emotional issues about masturbation and you don't know who to ask. And all of a sudden, you know, this obviously causes you mental and emotional stress, which is ultimately bad for your health. So today I'm going to be answering the top masturbation questions I've received over the past few years. And this is all my videos combined. It's probably over well 15 million views. And before I continue, make sure please you subscribe to this channel if you aren't already. And click that bell icon so you'll be notified in the future when similar videos are released. Something about like this topic. This way, you know what's going on when it's going to be released about similar topics. You won't keep asking me, you know, in the emails, which many times I won't be able to reply back to all of you. I'll do my best again to answer the questions here. In addition to subscribing, clicking that notification icon, please leave your comments below. All right. Let me know how this video has helped you, if it's given you more clarity, and of course, if you have other questions I can personally answer about this topic and address in future videos. So with that said, let's get started. So today's topic, uh, question about masturbation is, can quitting excessive masturbation heal, you know, a damaged penis? Again, this is, I've gotten similar questions. Does excessive masturbation damage the penis? First of all, in the first part of the question, I don't know what damage your penis anyhow, right? I mean, are you killing it while you're doing this? You know, what are you doing that's damaging your penis with all the ma masturbation? Now, you said excessive masturbation. You know, there's different forks you can put on. <clears throat> aggressive, obviously, being aggressive probably isn't good for anything. However, uh, if you're just doing it like four, five, six times a day, you know, at the end of the day, your penis is still a muscle, a smooth muscle and various, you know, different types of muscles and organs. And, and it will, you know, not only will it get hurt, it can shrink in size. Okay. Because you quote unquote overtrained that muscle, just like bodybuilding, you overtrain a muscle, it will shrink. Okay. So excessive, uh, uh, you know, masturbation does hurt the penis. Don't do it. Yes, everything in the body gets reversed and healed again. Even if you work out too much and your muscles start to shrink because it's overtrained, you take a week off and it overcompensates, as it's called, and then it gets back to normal uh, and super compensates in bodybuilding world, but you're not going to get a bigger penis by um, that rebound effect. But don't excessive masturbate, okay, that you're causing damage to the penis, okay? If you're doing all that, then you are... Um, addicted to it. So let's, let's keep an easy thing on the penis. It's your friend, not your enemy. With that said, uh, hopefully this was helpful. More information underneath this video, uh, in the description area about this topic and similar guide topics and make sure you subscribe, click the bell icon. And as always, thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful.